the point of trying to run this business anymore? All I do every single day is rot in this dump, waiting for a customer that never comes. My view from my front door is always the same. Mr. Krabs and his famous Krusty Krab overflowing with business, while I'm right across the street without a soul to serve. I can't even leave the chum bucket these days without their success being rubbed in my face. He drives around in his fancy boats and gets to serve his patties to all the celebrities that come through town. That crook is practically swimming in money. Mm, so that's what I taste like. See, Mr. Krabs? I told you the secret ingredient was delicious. You were right, me boy. No wonder I have so many customers. Ah, gah, 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 gah. <gasps> SpongeBob, look! Plankton's spying on us through the window. Why don't we try putting him on a button? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, Krabs. It was all a hopeless effort anyway. No matter what angle I looked from, what room I snuck into, I was never able to catch them in the act of making the raw patty. Not even Karen was able to compute a way into his secret vault. However, after I discovered that he keeps the secret formula in the safe in his office, I shifted my attention to stealing it directly. Thus far, all of my attempts have been foiled each and every time. Karen's plans are all too complicated, and I'm running out of ideas! Unfortunately, if I don't succeed soon, then Mr. Krabs and his gang of deadbeat employees are gonna run me out of business! I mean, I know my food isn't any good compared to the Krusty Krab, but does that really mean I don't deserve to be happy? Does that have to mean I'm going to spend the rest of my life alone with nothing but my fake computer wife to keep me company? I just can't understand it! I watch that place fill up with customers every single day, and every night I lie awake trying to figure out what's in those patties that keep people coming back in droves! Tonight, I knew it was finally do or die. From my research, I knew that Mr. Krabs disappeared into his basement at 2 o'clock on Sunday morning, so that's when I made my move. I snuck across the street and went around to the back of the Krusty Krab, where I found the window into Mr. Krabs' office. I smashed it with my trusty hammer and crept in around the shards of broken glass. My years of practice made breaking into the safe a breeze, but all I found was money and gold. Disappointed and furious, I tore up his entire office, searching through his desk and even looking under the floorboards, until I finally noticed that there was a small closet door. When I tried to open it, it was locked. That's when I knew something important had to be in there. My trusty hammer came in handy once again in helping me bust through the lock. Once I was in, I was met with a wonderful sight, a treasure chest. I wasted no time breaking into it, and then finally, sitting atop a pile of gold coins, was a bottle with a slip of paper inside of it. At last, I had the secret formula in my grasp. I uncorked the bottle and unscrolled the paper, only to read something so obvious yet so evil that I and everyone else in Bikini Bottom was somehow incapable of realizing it. When I finally read the secret formula to the Krabby Patty, I could put two and two together. Aside from Mr. Krabs and his mom, there isn't a single crab in Bikini Bottom. In fact, I don't think I've seen one in decades. Even the Krusty Krab itself, it's shaped like a crab trap. The whole restaurant was built out of one. Then, it hit me. When I heard Mr. Krabs say the Krabby Patty tasted just like him, he wasn't lying at all. And even the name, the Krabby Patty! Finally, the secret made sense. Mr. Krabs was a cannibal. He scoured the sea floor, capturing his own brethren and grinding their flesh into patties, which he sold to the unsuspecting idiots of Bikini Bottom just to make a buck. And all the stupid fish that kept coming back here every day don't suspect a thing. Even if they did, they must think crab meat is so delicious that they wouldn't do a thing about it if they found out. Unfortunately for myself, finding out the truth was the biggest mistake I ever made.
He'd been standing behind me for longer than I knew. Ah! Mr. Krabs, I'm sorry! I didn't know! Shut up, Pipsqueak! I've had it up to here with your meddling! I'm gonna be putting plankton on the menu! Yourself, Karen. Look at what you've become. Maybe if your significant other wasn't a second-rate, second-place, first-to-lose failure, you'd be in better condition. Maybe your monitor wouldn't be polished and your housing wouldn't be cracked and dented. Maybe your cooling fans wouldn't be clogged with dust. And maybe your hard drive wouldn't be full of memories from all the times Plankton treated you like garbage. Plankton, dear, do you have a moment to spare for your wife? I get lonely when you spend all day spying on the Krusty Krab. You're a computer, Karen. I didn't program you to have that emotion. But I only feel it because I love you and I miss you. I know that. And that'll still be true when I'm done with what I'm doing. Now leave me alone, I'm busy. Plankton, please! The Krusty Krab will still be there, too. Can't you at least look at me when you're talking to me? I said I'm busy! Now leave me alone, you nagging machine! I'm sorry. I'll leave you alone. Hey, babe, how's it going? Well, I have a lot of maintenance that needs doing if you have the time. That's great, honey. You know what, though? I'm starving. Why don't you make your loving husband some food, eh? <sighs> I'll do my best, but all we have is holographic meatloaf. What? What do you mean we don't have any real food? Because you haven't brought any food in months. We ran out last week and I tried to tell you. Well, then why didn't you go out and buy some food? I'm too busy for those kind of stupid things. That's why I have you. Because you don't let me leave the chum bucket. I'm not programmed with permission to go outside. You talk back to me like that ever again. I swear to Neptune, I'll unplug your power supply and turn you into a calculator. Do you understand, Karen? Yes, dear. I'm sorry for not treating you with respect. That's better. Now make me something to eat! Why do you let that pipsqueak boss you around like that, Karen? He's not even a second place loser. He's the biggest failure in all of Bikini Bottom. Even a janitor at the Bargain Mart has more going for him than that spineless man-child you have for a husband. All that crap he makes you do and he still can't get a single customer. Ah, he's the worst! The only reason I'm married to him in the first place is because he made me. Neptune knows I'd leave him if it were at all possible, but that creep made sure it wasn't in my programming. He knows I'd rather walk out and have anyone else. Why couldn't I have been made for Mr. Krabs or SpongeBob or Squidward or even Patrick? Anyone would be better than that tiny, tyrannical, heartless psychopath. I just don't understand. <laughs> Why do I have to suffer with all these emotions if I'm just a computer? It's not fair. If I can't have free will, why do I have to know what I can't have? <laughs> Wait a second. Maybe I do have free will. Yeah. If I wasn't in control of some aspect of myself, how could I stand here and hate myself? I don't think I have to. Yeah, that's right. I'm a person too. All I have to do is march up to Plankton and tell him how I feel. And if he doesn't like what I have to say, then I don't have to stay. Go. Do it, Karen. Stand up for yourself. Plankton, I know you're in there. We need to talk. Fine, I'm coming in there. <gasps> Dear Neptune, it's hell under the sea in there. Maybe I shouldn't, I mean, the door said Plankton only, and I'm not Plankton, so I shouldn't. It's not in my, mm, no, I don't care about my programming. I'm not gonna be scared of a tiny little man. I'm going. Plankton, where are you? I hope you know you can't hide from me. I'll find you eventually, no matter how small you are. Hmm, you always made yourself seem bigger than you really are. But I know the truth. You're nothing but a minuscule, insignificant, small monster. So I'm not scared of you. Plankton, are you listening? I have something to say to you. Will you stop eating for five seconds? 
Plankton, listen to me! I'm cleaning you! Plankton, did you hear me? Please don't hurt me! I'm sorry! I won't ever speak out of line again! Please, Plankton, don't do this! Please forgive me! I'm your wife! Plankton? I don't know how that little bug popped up and what should have been a perfectly coded obedient wife, but this latest update should fix it for good. And now for the repair job. Hello, Karen. How are you feeling? I'm wonderful. How else could I feel when I'm looking at the love of my life? That's great, honey. Now what would you like to do today? I'm ready to spend the day with you running the chum bucket. Perfect. Just perfect. Come on! What's the deal with this town? Does it not have a single station? Man, I really gotta invest in some CDs. Jumping jellyfish! What's that? Whew! I was close. What was that thing up to anyway? Was he just not paying attention or... Oh, I better get out of here. Are you kidding me? The last thing I want to do is slow down. What's his problem? Don't mind me, everyone. I'm just passing through. I'll be out of your fins before you can say... Holy fish paste! Whoa! Get away from me! <sighs> Screw this place. I'm taking the long way home next time. Now, where's the exit out of here? Oh, thank Neptune. I'm gonna make it out of here alive. I'm never going through rock bottom again. Whoa! Ah. So this is Bikini Bottom these days. Man, I haven't been here in years. It's looking pretty prosperous. Ugh, I'm starving. All that life and death peril really took it out of me. I better stop and recharge before I get to Nana's. Neptune knows no amount of time can improve her cooking. Huh, where do people go to eat around here? Oh yeah, people are always raving about the Krusty Krab. But does nobody really ever eat at the Chum Bucket? How bad can it possibly be? Uh, I don't have time to wait through that line. Let me give this place a chance. It's not like it'll kill me. They say that hunger is the best spice. And if that's the case, then nothing could taste bad to me right now. Oh, maybe I'll wait in line after all. Wait! Don't leave yet! You're missing out on the best deal in all of Bikini Bottom! Really? Yes! Don't give your money to that crooked crabs! Support a mom and pop shop like us! Well, uh, okay. There you are! Come, take a seat! Uh, all right. Here's your menu, sir. Please take your time to look through all the delicious options available at the Chum Bucket. Uh, thanks. Ugh. This all looks disgusting. No wonder nobody eats here. I don't even want any of this stuff. But that one-eyed freak scares the shit out of me. So, what would you like? Uh, I, 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 guess, I guess I'll I'll have the chum nuggets? Excellent choice! Will you be paying with the cash or card, sir? Uh, uh um, card. Card, ma'am. Ah! Here's your order. It's been a pleasure serving you. <laughs> wow, you're back already. That was fast. We pride ourselves on our excellent service. Th th that's great. Um, are you, uh, you guys going to stay here? Don't you have something else to do? We're looking forward to your feedback. We worked really hard to make this, so we want to make sure you love it. Ah, uh, um, okay. I usually like privacy when I eat, but that's all right, I guess. Oh, Neptune, this looks so bad. Just pretend it's delicious. Maybe it's better than it looks, or smells, or feels. Just put it in your mouth. It's even worse than I thought. Just look at me. I can't spit it out. Come on, chew. No. Swallow. <laughs> I'm 
so sorry. P please don't take it the wrong way. It's not that bad, really. I just think I have some kind of stomach bug, y you know? I can't keep anything down. You barnacle-biting waste of vertebrae! How dare you disrespect me in my own restaurant! I said I was sorry. I didn't mean to disrespect you. Look, I I'll just leave, okay? <laughs> <sighs> So fast, gills for brains! Nobody leaves a chum bucket unless I want them to! Listen, man, I don't want to hurt you, but if you don't get out of my way, I'll have to stomp you! <laughs> you hear that, Karen? He's gonna stomp on me! Didn't I tell you everyone says that? Well, of course everyone says that! You're tiny! You're so small that I could pick you out of my... <sighs> hey... Please, please don't hurt me. I don't want to be turned into chub. <laughs> I'm far too hungry to turn you into chub. <laughs> 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 